Hello everyone, I am Amulya Itchel, Assistant Professor, Ananya Institute of Commerce and Management. In this video, I am, I am going to explain the meaning of tax and canons of taxation. What is tax? Tax is a charge which is imposed by the authority on person or property for public purpose. It is the ta charge which is imposed by the government under tax authorities. They collect the amount from the people on the basis of their uh, income earning capacity and then they use this amount to meet their public expenditures. This is the concept of tax. The another meaning of tax is it is a compulsory contribution made by the citizens of a nation to meet various expenditures of the state. So after knowing the meaning of tax, let us know the canons of taxation. Canons of taxation is a basic main basic principles that is rules set to build a good tax system. The Adam Smith gave an important four canons of taxation. Let us know that the four taxations are canons of equality, canons of certainty, canons of convenience and lost canons of economy. Let us know one by one. The first canon is canons of equality. Every person should pay the tax to the government depending upon their ability to pay. That means higher income generating person has to pay higher tax and lower income generating person has to pay lower tax. So the tax payment is depends upon their ability to generate or earn income. So if the person earns more income, he is going to pay more tax to the government. If the person earns less income, he pays less tax to the government. So this is the concept of equality. So this next canon is canon of certainty. This tax that an individual pay should be certain and not arbitrary. It means the taxpayer should know in advance how much tax he has to pay, at what time he has to pay the tax to the government, in what form he has to pay the tax to the government. So this is the concept of canon of certainty. The time and the manner of payment of tax should be known to the taxpayer. The next type of canon is canon of convenience. The mode and timing of payment of tax should be convenient as far as possible convenient to the taxpayer. It means the land revenue should be collected at the time of harvesting. At the same time, income tax is directed at source. It should not become a burden to the taxpayer. So this is the concept of convenience. So the next canon is canon of economy. This canon states that there should be an economy in tax administration. It means the cost of collecting this tax should be minimum than the tax collected. The if the tax collected collecting cost is maximum or increased or more means it is called uneconomical. So tax collection method and the tax collection system should be economic. So these are all the four important canons given by Adam Smith. Thanks for watching.